Hello today's video we have the following content. Sly Face enters the costume drama, showing acrimony, Zhang Hong can't save the situation. These two days, Zhang Han really caused a sensation on the whole network, because the image of Yang Jian in Black Myth, Wukong is exactly the same as Oil King Zhang Han. Zhang Han, who has not released a new work for a long time, has once again become a hot search. Who would have thought that such a huge fortune would actually fall into his hands? His acting career, which has been silent for many years, has set off a new wave of popularity due to the newly launched time travel costume drama Liu Guangyin, and has frequently appeared on the hot search list. As soon as the makeup photos of this new drama were released, they were exactly the same as Yang Jian in the game, and they really brought Gracie to a new level. Out of curiosity, I clicked on this costume drama Liu Guangyin that boasts a time travel theme, but I didn't expect that the performance of the heroine would surprise me again. When the tricky all-snake face was revealed, I was really stunned from head to toe. The wrinkles on the face, which are full of grooves, complement the medical beauty technology that can shape a perfect chin, and the two cute hairs on the cheeks. As soon as I saw your snake-like appearance, I was full of complaints and had no desire to continue watching. You still ask me who you are? I want to ask you, who are you? The snake-like face of the heroine, coupled with the greasy face of the hero, what kind of unique surprise will this pair of crouching dragon and phoenix bring? Next, let us explore in depth and complain about it as the plot develops. Everyone is crazy and has no bottom line. Although I heard that this is a real costume drama before, I didn't expect that the first episode would make me completely confused. At the beginning, he appeared in the jungle of M country wearing full armor and holding a submachine gun. It was so dark that I could hardly see his face. The special effects were like the level of 50 cents, which was really shocking. The special effects of this drama are not even as good as the 50 cent special effects. To say so is to overestimate it. When this dull looking python special effect appeared, I couldn't help but wonder if it was a template material downloaded directly from a pirated website. The heroine was chased by the giant python all the way. She seemed calm, but in fact she evaded and moved flexibly, cleverly avoiding the attack several times, and unexpectedly escaped from the snake's mouth. The heroine had just escaped, but she still didn't feel that the danger was not exciting enough, and she insisted on entering a cave full of danger signals to get information. You said the cave was dangerous, but the heroine took off her oxygen mask rashly regardless of life and death. The heroine took a glance and found a dagger firmly glued to the wall with 502 super glue. This abrupt discovery made her feel inexplicably curious. Therefore, the heroine quietly took the dagger down with the mentality that curiosity might bring trouble to herself. As the camera approached, the cheap effect full of plastic feeling immediately appeared, which made people think of the toy daggers sold at the school gate. In the background, the snake face with green light adds an inexplicable sense of humor. Then, the heroine appeared with a handsome sword drawing action, and then her eyes went black, and she fainted with a bang. After waking up, the heroine unexpectedly found that she had traveled to ancient times, and she was still wearing a cheap street stall Chinese clothing, and the plot of the time travel drama inexplicably began. I have to admire the director's way of thinking. The film started with a gun adventure in the jungle and then traveled through time without warning. The plot is disjointed, and people can't figure out what he wants to express. And this plot also reveals the atmosphere of a low-cost explosive web drama. The props that appear are either toys or 50-cent special effects. Didn't the people who filmed this drama have a budget of even one dollar? In this way, the heroine traveled to an unknown fictional ancient dynasty with a blank face, and the audience was even more confused. Arriving in a strange place for the first time, she was unfamiliar with everything and hadn't figured out her identity yet. The heroine seemed to have suddenly become a drama queen, and she would attack anyone she saw without hesitation, showing that she was both fierce and unreasonable. We can say that the heroine showed her strength with her background as a special forces soldier in her previous life and her skills of fancy boxing and embroidered legs. After traveling to ancient times, she even severely taught the stepmother who bullied her a lesson. Her originally weak and delicate image instantly turned into a tigress. Suddenly, a basin of cold water was poured on her head without warning, soaking the heroine all over, as if she had become a drowned chicken. Unexpectedly, this basin of water actually woke the heroine up. In an instant, she flashed in her mind the scene of being framed by her stepmother giving birth to a daughter last night, and even remembered that her name was Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudan. Han Ziking acted decisively and was very optimistic. Since she had traveled here, 
she decided to follow the will of heaven and only wanted to avenge Han Ziking. Look, she grabbed her stepmother with one hand and went straight to settle accounts with Zer, the stepmother's daughter who framed and bullied her. What surprised me even more was that the actress who played Zer had a sarcastic expression as soon as she appeared, which completely subverted my cognition. In this TV series, I let two actresses perform vividly for the first time, perfectly interpreting the meaning of snakes and rats in the same nest. I thought that the charming female supporting role could stir up a storm, but who would have thought that in front of our strong heroine, she could only be slapped obediently. On the left, on the right, the vicious female second was beaten beyond recognition, which was really refreshing. However, it was not this moment that really made the whole play reach its climax. Next, the prince played by Zhang Han appeared inexplicably and selected concubines, which was the most exciting plot in the whole play. Zhang Han's first appearance in the play was full of oily face. To be honest, he was indeed very similar to Yang Jian in Black Myth, Wu Kong. In addition, Zhang Han appeared in the play as a powerful prince. Was he ready to take advantage of Yang Jian's popularity? I have to admit that Zhang Han's performance in the play is really greasy to the extreme. Looking at him in this red dress, the more I look at him, the more I feel that he looks like the eunuch Wei's Hongson. If you want to choose a concubine, choose a concubine, but Han Ziking and Zir just keep circling around Zhang Han. Unexpectedly, Zir fiddled with her posture and swayed back and forth, but she was not favored by the prince and was immediately rejected mercilessly. This prince with a unique vision actually fell under Han Ziking's pomegranate skirt. She always maintained an indifferent expression, with a bit of disdain, showing full toughness. No matter what, he had to marry this scandalous heroine and make her a princess, and no one could stop him. Zhang Han's stubbornness is really hilarious. Honestly, I watched this drama from beginning to end, but I still don't understand why there is a scene with a gun in the jungle at the beginning. Although the subsequent plot may be explained, from the 1-3 episodes I have watched so far, the plot before and after the time travel is completely unrelated, which is really terrible. What do you think of this costume time travel drama Liu Guang Yingkuo starring Zhang Han and Zhu Zudan? So, how similar do you think Zhang Han's appearances to Yang Jian in Black Myth, Wu Kong? Next news. I thought it was a bad drama, but it scored 8.1 points. The costume drama Liu Guang Yin became popular. In the field of domestic dramas, there is a type of theme that keeps the audience looking forward to it, that is, fantasy type costume dramas. In the past domestic drama market, Costume fantasy dramas such as Legend of Sword and Fairy, The Journey of Flower and Ashes of Love were enthusiastically sought after by the audience, and everyone watched them many times without getting tired. However, in the past two years, the domestic TV drama market has been full of fantasy god dramas such as The Long Moon Embers in Flames, which made the audience feel dizzy. Does it mean that the theme of costume fantasy is no longer good? Don't worry, there are still many wonderful dramas in the list of waiting to be broadcast. For example, Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Royal Power co-starred by Chang Yi and Li Yudin and Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Bamboo Leaf starring Liu Shishi. Dramas such as Wu Ayadu starring Ren Jilin are all powerful handsome men and beautiful women, which greatly enhances the audience's expectations. The above dramas have not been aired yet, but a new work has been released first. Li Guang Yun premiered on Tencent, and the first four episodes received a high score of 8.1 on the platform. It seems that another popular work of ancient costume fantasy drama has been born this year. Traveling through ancient times as a concubine? The plot is too exciting. Li Guangyun depicts the concubine Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, of the Prime Minister's mansion who met the Shining God of War Jun Biao, played by Zhang Han, by accident, and was forced to be involved in the dangerous struggle on the continent. In order to uncover the secret of her life experience, Han Ziking and Jun Bi worked together to not only solve the mystery of her life experience, but also to maintain the safety of Long Guan together. The audience has seen too many plots of ancient costume fantasy dramas, which are nothing more than a certain fairy falling in love with an ordinary mortal or fairy, and then performing the tragic love of three lives in three worlds. However, this new drama subverts these traditional patterns, and the first two wonderful dramas highly hold my attention for a whole episode. The first wonderful performance, Time Travel. In the border forest of Country M, a research team equipped with weapons was moving cautiously. Suddenly, a huge python attacked and instantly captured a member of the team. However, the giant python was obviously not staring at the researcher. Then, it rushed straight to Han Ziking. Fortunately, Han Ziking reacted quickly, dodged flexibly, 
and successfully got rid of the giant python. The surviving research team came to the vicinity of a cave under the guidance of navigation. Due to the interference of the magnetic field, they could not distinguish the direction. As the strongest in the team, Han Ziking took the initiative to ask Ying to explore the cave. However, after she went in, she first fell into a different cave, and then lost consciousness because of removing the dagger hanging on the wall. When I opened my eyes again, I was in ancient times. What's wrong, isn't what I saw a historical fantasy drama. Why did I travel through time at the beginning? Looking back with such doubts, I didn't expect the following plot to surprise me even more. The second event, the selection of concubines. After Han Ziking realized that she had indeed traveled through time, she not only vented her grievances in the Xiang Fu for the original Han Ziking, but also participated in the selection ceremony of the fourth Prince Jun Biao in order to suppress Han Zir, played by Guo Xingxing. Han Ziking's real intention was just to understand the grand scene of the selection of concubines in ancient times and weaken Han Zir's arrogance. So he said in front of Jun Biao that he knew nothing, whether it was literature or martial arts. Originally thought that such perfunctory things could ensure her safety, but she didn't expect Jun Biao to take an unusual path and directly choose her. It's amazing. The heroine is unconventional and special enough, and the hero is even more unique. The two weirdos come together, and the plot is really fascinating. These two are a mercenary who traveled through time and space and a prince who is hidden. Their strong combination will surely make the audience scream with excitement. All members are acting masters. In ancient costume fairy dramas, the appearance of the actors is crucial. If they can show excellent acting skills, it will be even more perfect. The star lineup of Liu Guangyin is quite outstanding, and five actors have performed outstandingly so far. The first one is Zhang Han. The protagonist Jun Bi who played by Zhang Han in this drama is full of aura. When he learned that his second brother clearly knew that the country had won, he still asked the enemy for marriage and reconciliation, although his words were gentle and melodious. But his eyes revealed full of contempt and disdain, and the look at that moment made people feel cold. Zhang Han is very strong, and with him present, the wonderful performance of the new drama is inevitable. Second, Zhu Zudin. Han Ziking played by Zhu Zudin is really elegant and cool. When Han Zir apologized to her coldly, Han Ziking didn't even give her a look. Her face was cold, and her eyebrows showed a resolute temperament, perfectly showing the aura of a mercenary, just right, which is really amazing. Zhu Zudin's action scenes in the play are even more eye-catching. Every move she makes is very neat. Although her arms and legs are very slender, she is full of strength when she is really on the battlefield. Judging from Zhu Zudin's performance, I believe this will be another classic costume drama role for her. The third is Zhang Yufei. The queen played by Zhang Yufei in the play is extraordinary. The gorgeous makeup makes her look luxurious and elegant, and the high eyebrows show the coldness and inviolability of the character. Facing Han Ziking, who is eloquent in the palace, the queen just smiled faintly, with contempt and disdain in her eyes, and the expression on her face conveyed a chilling ferocity. This role is very difficult to deal with. Her identity is a powerful queen, and her methods are also very ruthless. With Zhang Yufei's interpretation, this role will definitely leave a deep impression on people. Fourth, Li Yuxuan. Li Yuxuan's second prince Jun Bichun really inherited the queen's insidiousness and viciousness. In order to prevent Jun Biao from marrying the Xiang Fu, he secretly used various means, even at the expense of his daughter's reputation. Seeing that the secret guards he sent out did not come back, he anxiously went to the queen to complain. He looked so pitiful that I almost couldn't help laughing. The role of the second prince, who had no ability but insisted on fighting for the throne, was really fascinating. The fifth is Guo Xingxing. As a contrast to Han Ziking, Guo Xingxing's vicious female supporting role Han Zir really makes people hate her. It's not enough to laugh at Han Ziking, but even her deceased mother was criticized. The arrogant attitude of looking down on others makes people want to cross the screen and punish her a few times. Guo Xingxing's performance is full of infectiousness and is very outstanding. Ren Shi Heo, Heilin and others all have remarkable performances in the play. This ancient costume fantasy drama is so wonderful. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,